you, did you have any idea of the success of the books when you went for this part? None whatsoever. Not at all. And it's continuing to shock me every week when yeah? this happens. Yeah. So being British, was it daunting to go and play this big sort of American fictional hero? I, I didn't know how, that it was so big <laughs> before. Uh, I thought it was quite daunting to go into something where it's literally so many people were saying he's literally the perfect, the perfect person. Uh -huh. And that was the whole point. But um, I guess when it comes down to it, you know, it's kind of, it's just another person wrote it. It's, uh -huh. just, it's just Stephanie Meyer's idea of a perfect person, not actually the perfect person. And uh -huh. people have different taste. So, I mean, it's, it, wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't that intimidating after a while. Is it harder to play someone that's been created in a book than a script? Um... In some ways, I mean, I, I, you always look at the script anyway. I mean, you're kind of, you're not playing the book, you're playing mm -hmm. the adaptation, otherwise it's just impossible. And so the book just becomes material afterwards, like, and you can take bits and you can leave bits. And mm -hmm. I shouldn't really say that, people probably get annoyed with <laughs> me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I did the same thing with Harry Potter, you can just kind of, mm -hmm. you just take the bits you like and which relate to your idea of the character and, mm -hmm. and just abandon anything that contradicts that. <laughs> So your, po uh, your face is all over the posters, you're on the cover of magazines. How are you going to prepare for this kind of big explosion of fame that's going to come your way? Probably go back to London. Yeah? <laughs> like, hide. Well, uh, I might be massive in London as well. You might not be able to. Yeah, no, I haven't been. Yeah. I <laughs> um, yeah, I have no idea. Um, are you finding it already? You? Yeah, I mean, since, since the day... Um, since the day I finished shooting, mm -hmm. there's been at least one person come up to me every single day. It's really strange. Mm -hmm. And then after the trailer came out, at least four. Mm -hmm. Like it's absolutely bizarre to me. I mean, like everyone has seen something. I mean, this is before there are any real systematic promotion of the of the movie, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's just completely nuts. To me. What do all your friends and family think of you becoming this heartthrob type figure? I don't know. I mean, I've never really asked her. I can't really imagine asking my friends, like, hey, what do you think of me becoming a heartthrob? <laughs> <laughs> well, will they start, you know, taking the mickey out of you, do you think? I don't know. Like, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess, I mean, I only really have two friends. <laughs> and one of them, I got one of his songs on the soundtrack, so, like, I should be thankful. <laughs> okay. So you have lots of inner turmoil in this character. Mm. Is that kind of difficult to kind of say? Because a lot of it's sort of how you look rather than what you say. Was, was mm. that difficult to, to kind of reprise? I think it's always good. I think too many scripts are too explicit in, in to, uh, as to describing a character's own emotions. Like, you hardly ever say anything. And most of the time when you're talking to someone, you're just you're saying the opposite of what you're meaning. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what one of the things I liked about Edward is just that He's very, um, he's very honest with himself. He's not frivolous with his words. He kind of, or in the script anyway, he's like, he says very, very little. Mm -hmm. And whatever he does say, it's kind of, it's, it's very much contrived. He has, a, he has a plan for what he's saying. Mm -hmm. It's either a plan or it's a kind of formal template of behaviour. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the stuff. Which, that's some of the key things I liked about this character. Mm -hmm. Are you like that in real life? Are you in quite introverted or are you completely opposite, quite extroverted? And uh, Yeah, I'm quite intro well, sort of introverted. I mean, I always think I'm introverted. I mean, I mean, I find out from people that I've told them absolutely everything about my life within about two, <laughs> two meetings. <laughs> so, like, I can't be that introverted. <laughs> okay. or, I must, or I could be just really shallow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, are you sort of based in Hollywood now? Is that what do you... I'm not really based anywhere. I'm, no. I'm here for three days and then just jumping all over the place. What do you think of uh, Los Angeles life and the whole kind of Hollywood experience? I like I like going to the beach. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> like, um, and uh, I don't know. I've never really I never really fully immersed myself. I'm, I've always been here in a kind of work mentality. So I've, I basically just sit around waiting for the phone to ring. <laughs> like, yeah, I've really not immersed myself too much. Do you think this um, this film kind of projects kind of a 
idealised version of love and relationships? Do you think it's quite real? Up no, I don't. I don't think so. I mean, I think, I think in a lot of ways it's very sort of traumatic. It's very. Mm -hmm. I mean, the way me and Kristen tried to see it. Anyway, I mean, obviously in the book, when you at first glance, it's very much like, oh, I wish I had that relationship. It's so like what mm -hmm. I want. But really, when you actually just break it down and look at the facts, it's kind of. There's nothing good about it, other than the fact that they love each other. Like, that's, that, I mean, the only thing they get out of it is the fact that they found someone who they love. But every single thing else in their lives completely falls apart. In the first line of the book, Bella's saying, like, I should have let my mother die instead of, like, not having, not being able to have this relationship go on. Mm. It's the first line of the whole book. It's not explicitly that. <laughs> like, something like that. It can be interpreted to be that. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much. Enjoy thank the rest of your present.